Hey there, Christopher here with a quick update before this week's episode. I just wanted to let you all know that we have a website at theworldstandard.com. That's all three words squished into one, dot com. The link is in the episode's description. Head on over and check out some behind-the-scenes content, some insight into each of our story arcs, as well as exclusive artwork done by us. While you're there, feel free to sign up for a monthly newsletter, The Standard News, where we run down what we are doing each month, including a release schedule and what we are recording and planning to record, as well as anything else we feel our listeners should know. Also, since I have you here, feel free to help us make this podcast continue to grow by donating through Anchor. The link, as always, is in the description, and is available on our website by clicking the Donate button at the top of the page, or at the bottom of the drop-down menu if you're visiting the site on your mobile device. We want to do more with the world standard, and in order for us to do that, we need the show to bring in a little security. I'm sure you understand, and if you feel like that is something you would be interested in doing, we would greatly appreciate it. We have big things planned for the future, and we can't wait to show you. With that out of the way, enjoy the episode, and uh, I guess, uh, don't sniff glue? Yeah! Welcome back to the Rolled Standard. I am your game master as we keep playing Starfinder tonight. I'm Nate, and I'm joined with Christopher, and I play Dr. Kaldar Zemo, Don Vianor of Clanton. Hello, I'm Levi, and I have a sinus thing. <laughs> I play Glenn. That sweet, sugary, honey voice, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> nice. oh, and damn. I'm three. <laughs> or Jake. All right, guys. Last we left, for us, it's been a little bit. Seven years. <laughs> you guys were just leaving a, uh, a planet high with military conflict, with your buttholes clenched, heading for drift space. Now, I'm going to need you guys to roll me a d6 so that uh, we can see how, how many, six probably, days it's going to take. Oh, it's going to take five. Oh, man, first I time. I was trying to give you one that you wouldn't. It was okay. too earlier. <laughs> All right, well, with five days in drift space... Per usual, what do you guys want to do? Starting off the episode right there. You guys got a little while to be uh, sitting around here in yeah, the BB-514. Super, super nervous that Doc's trying to kill me, so uh, whatever I'm doing, I'm going to be watching my back. <laughs> are, are you going to be knitting in the corner? I will be knitting, but also watching my my back. Uh, you're, you're a robot. Uh, do your eyes move out of your head? Huh? No. That's, that's weird, Glenn. And my eyes just kind of... Jitter around in all odd directions, <laughs> <laughs> zooming in and out. Is he knitting for five days? Yeah, I'm knitting. I'm yeah. practicing my knitting skills. All right, all right. Doc, what do you think you're doing this whole time? Well, looks like we got five days, boys. I am going to spend that time in my room. Yeah. Ready? I'm going to point to my eyes and point at him. <laughs> <laughs> then walk into my room and then the door slide shut. See you later, Doc. <laughs> all right. No response. And then <laughs> you, 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 you pace. You, you turn your eyes to Glenn, and he's just in a corner playing with his yo-yos. Oh, my gosh. All alone. <laughs> the this, this saddest he, yo-yo boy. I'll play yeah. another game of chess with Glenn. I don't think you can cut it. I've wasted you every time. Go for it. Today um, is a new day. What is it supposed to be? Opposed intelligence. Doc, while they're doing this, anything you want to roll for? Mm -mm. No? No, I'm good. It's a natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> I got an 8. So... <laughs> Uh, per usual, per usual, the android crushes you. I don't know why I play this game. <laughs> it's all right. Flip the board. <laughs> Glenn, God do, do, damn do, do, do. it. Comes back up on the... I hate this game. I know, buddy, but I love it. <laughs> all right. Go get some juice from Doc. <laughs> <laughs> you go to his room, then? I knock on the door. I'm not here. I walk away. <laughs> 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 all right, well... After uh, five days in drift space here, you guys come out close to Absalom Station, per usual, and um, right away, you get a hail from Tar. Hey, guys. How'd everything go? I'm going to bust out of my room. <laughs> 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 that Tar? Yeah. Look at three. Uh, maybe? So, yes. Hey, guys. Hi, Hi tar. tar. Hi, Tar. So, uh, what you calling about, Tar? Uh, you guys do jobs. We did a job, that's right. We were there. Uh-huh. Yep. That, yeah, that's it? There's some hostility here. Yeah, I wouldn't say that. Like, we're good, right, Doc? 
I sh- shuffle closer to the to the tunnel uh, oh. leading to the back. Oh yeah, no, I'm f- I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my hands are fucking. My Android hands are just clammy. <laughs> you have no pores. <laughs> uh, mind letting me know how it went down? We delivered the goods. Um, most of them. Uh, Why most of them? Three. Hmm? Why What's most that? of them? Uh, One of them did not fell. make the jump. Yeah, bridge was out. Yeah, didn't make the jump. Uh, Wink. D- Glenn. D- oh. Oh. Okay. Um, it was a hot mess. So, uh, what, are the edge lords upset, or? Well, this wasn't for them. Oh, that's right. It was for Sinjin. Well, they were still in on some money here. I'll, okay. How about this? I'll report the information from your ship's log. It seems pretty standard from what I'm looking at, and I'll make it look as good as I can. Uh, I do have information for you, though. And that is what? Lord Sinjin's looking for you. Where? Oh, boy. He is, um, well, apparently he hangs out very often at the King's Kearney Cash Bar out in the Armada. Um, now, if he's heard about things that have gone down on Voxa, I couldn't tell, but he uh, doesn't seem angry by any means. Uh, just wanted to sit and talk with you. This is how he works. He's going to point the finger again. Glenn, it's like... I'm it's... just pacing in the background. Glenn, it's like you were in a relationship with this thing. You have no idea. Oh, he was. Oh, boy. This goes deeper than we thought, Doc. Literally. <laughs> the deepest. <laughs> <laughs> Jake is trying so hard. <laughs> um. <laughs> well, he said he wanted to talk about a potential business opportunity. So, doesn't sound... <sighs> okay. I need a disguise. Well, we'll pick one out for you this time. I lost my hoodie. Ah, uh, that thing, that wasn't a disguise, Glenn. Anyways, yeah, good tar. Uh, money? Creds? It's a job. I told you, Doc, we can branch out on our own here. Yeah, we can. Hmm. You're not going to pace the room slowly, head down thinking. Give him a mint tar. We'll call you back. Where do we need to go? Well, hey, you don't need to call me back. I'll try and take care of this stuff here. If you guys want to head to the cash bar... I'll send the coordinates to the BD-514, and uh, you guys can just be on your way. I'll let you know how it goes with Edge. Thank you, Tar. You're welcome. And she dips out the Armada. That's where we are currently. I mean, he might have a really good job for us. And right. we could definitely break off from the Edge Corp. I almost said Edge Lords again. I hope. <laughs> I didn't know that the ship had logs. I hope they haven't been tracking everything we've said. That's ah, technology always changing on me. Not going to point out the obvious irony here. (laughs) (laughs) Three hundred years old. Right. That's 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 it right there. (laughs) Somebody was going to do it. Um, Glad you're aware of it, buddy. (laughs) uh, Self-aware. That's the key. And three. uh, He's going to go and sit down and start knitting again. (laughs) (laughs) He's going to watch you. Why? (laughs) Why? (laughs) Not sure. Okay. I can't fuck anything else up. I promise. Oh God. I don't believe that at all. All right. Can we please go to the cash box? What was the place called? <laughs> uh, the something, something, something cash bar. King Kearney's cash bar. Cash That's bar. what it's called. To King's Kearney's cash bar, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah let's Ruth's go. Chris Steakhouse. <laughs> <laughs> let's go talk to your buddy Sinjin. To Mary Kate and Olson's? No, that was uh, Debbie Macy Olson's. Ah. And mm. she's, well, Back she's on station. vacation. Is that where you guys are heading then? I mean, Debbie Macy Olsen. <laughs> no, no, I mean, no. Glenn's the pilot, so <laughs> I have bomb. no flying skills. You do not want me piloting this son of a gun. It nah. takes you nothing to get I, there. I age. punch in the coordinates to get to this place. All right. I also don't have my driver's license. Well, you don't got far to go. <laughs> You're a robot. Huh? I, uh, you you come equipped with this. Uh, they consider me a senior now. It's they right took, here in your armpit. They took it. I'm sorry. He doesn't have armpits. <laughs> He has arm joints. Yep. Touche. They're ball <laughs> joints. Got an upgrade. So are ours. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it doesn't take you long to get to the cash bar. Once you get there, you realize that this place is a strange amalgamation of large freighters and small vessels welded together to create like a maze, casino, brothel, and drug den. As you guys get closer, you guys are hailed on your comms. BD-514, go ahead. And uh, just a drow woman shows up on the screen. Hello, I assume that you're here for Mr. Sinjin. Correct. All right, come on in. And she directs, pretty much directs you to a um, 
to a docking site there so that you can park the GP5. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Nothing. Son of a bitch. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And um, the same drow woman is there to greet you. Once you walk into the cash bar proper from the hangar, you realize that inside this place, it's wild. You're instantly bombarded by sights, smells, and tastes. Tastes don't know how. A live band playing an assortment of strange instruments from across the galaxy jams with a chilled rhythmic thrum. The air is full of smoke from a variety of illicit substances and the layered murmur of clandestine deals. Members of many usual species from near space and the vast fill the establishment. A squid-like ejikri crawls across the bar to order a drink, and across the room a leafy goron and peaceful neskinti pass a dose of hyperleaf back and forth. In a dark corner, a masked embry negotiates with a strike team of Vest commandos. Demeter maintains a steady pace, moving across large chambers to bulkhead doors guarded by a pair of female drow. The door opens as she approaches. Beyond lies a sumptuously appointed chamber with a central rectangular table, at the head of which sits a handsome drow who rises as she enters. Ah, it's finally nice to see you all. Glenn, have a seat. And he offers you guys a seat across the table. I'll stand. Three will sit. Props his legs up on the table. <laughs> this is Sinjin? Yes. Oh, gosh, okay. <laughs> yes. Oh, gosh, okay. Yes. Uh, Sinjin, uh, it's, it's been a while. Um, I thought I was supposed to be pretending to be dead. Oh, you... <laughs> uh. <laughs> he doesn't have the answers for that, Glenn. You uh, do. Uh, Stick with it. Uh, you're the one that called us out by name. Yes, I did. But what about the golden parachute? <laughs> there are leagues behind me having to worry about them anymore, Glenn. You shouldn't either. Now, and he ushers Demeter over, who has been holding a bottle of um, fine apostate wine, and she starts pouring drinks for you guys. Whether you take them or not is up to you. Ah, oh, thank you. Uh, first and foremost, uh, we, I, I'd like to uh, apologize for uh, what happened back there on... Uh, I was just going to allow you yeah. the opportunity to explain yourselves. Yeah, it was uh, quite the predicament. <laughs> yes, so I hear. Uh, Glenn glares at three and Doc. <laughs> and then back at three. It's fine. It's fine. I have every right to be furious. But I didn't quite expect things to go the way they did. Neither did we. But given the strange circumstances revolving around how all of this went down... I I feel obligated to kind of give you a gimme. I do like gimmies. I tipped off Fog that you guys were coming. I wanted to see exactly what you were made of. I usually wouldn't be telling you things like this, but Glenn, you're a good friend, and you all have reason to be hesitant to be here. Correct? Now, the millions of credits that I have lost are of no issue to me now. For your corporate masters, it might be a different story. Considering this, I want to offer you guys a job. I need a very special crew for it. And you all being employees of Edge make that uh, much more convenient for me, if you'll indulge me. Sure. Yes. Beautiful. Uh, wh wh what kind of job are we talking here? Oh, I will show you, my good friend. He grabs you by both sides of the face. Takes his pants off. He just grabs you by both... <laughs> 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 you bastard. <laughs> uh. <laughs> He'll take you by both sides of the face while you're sitting down in the chair there, and he'll uh, pat you on the head and just kind of walk around where there's a remote sitting close to you on the table. You're all Edge Corp employees, but what do you really know about the company you work for, hmm? They read my paychecks. Yes. That might not be for long. Yeah, they're also pretty cutthroat. One mistake can set you back quite a ways. It could. Regardless, I've spent enough credits to know. Money gets you information. And I have all of the information. I just don't have the access. I'm sure you've all heard of null space technology. Sure. It's, for most people, is uh, what you would consider in its infancy. Or at least it was. You could only hold something possibly the size of a small box, maybe a foot. Apparently, Edge Corp has designed and patented a new technology that would make the cargo space of any vessel bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. TARDIS tech. It is remarkable. Could you imagine if every emergency vessel carrying supplies to victims of the swarm could carry twice 
the medicinals. If every starship bringing the settlers to a distant, uninhabited world could carry twice the spare parts and supplies, or if a place like this station could give everyone hold down in the downside twice as much room. I know the galaxy seems like a pretty big place, but I assure you, when you're paying for air, food, and water, it's much smaller. With a press of the remote, Sinjin summons up a holographic representation of a transport starship, its image slowly rotating over the table. The answer to that question, of course, is your employer. Edgecorp wants to keep this technology to itself and use it to crush the competition. They built a prototype starship for this, called the Oliphant. It's housed on the Horse Eye Orbital Plate, near Abalon. He hits the button again, and it shows the Horse Eye Orbital Plate, the, the construction center where um, so much of Edge Corps and other companies' businesses are literally built. No outsiders are allowed on the Orbital Plate, with one exception. Many corporations have Starship's construction projects there, and the shareholders for those corporations are allowed to dock and move around freely. You aren't shareholders in Edgecorp, at least not yet, but you do all have stock options as part of your severance package and pay bonus structure. If you were leaving the company before you were all fired, and he looks around at the three of you, almost in like a comedic pity, you could redeem those options for a not inconsiderable amount of Edgecorp stock. You could then walk out on the horse eye orbital plate and steal the Oliphant for me. And that, my friends, is it. I could make you filthy fucking rich. I'm you could change you, your dog. fucking lives. And this... he sits down at the end of the, his side of the desk and he kicks his feet up and spreads his arms wide as he says this. Is he wearing a three-piece suit? Oh, fuck yeah. This dude is fly as fuck. Is there a pile of cocaine on his table? No. He said fly, not high. (laughs) (laughs) He doesn't need that. here. Walk out the door. Yeah. Hey, Cell. I mean, Sinjin, I got to ask you a question. Nice. Nice. I like that. What's that, friend? This seems very dangerous for three people. Actually, not really. There's minimal security, realistically, compared to most other places. I would assume this is to keep prying eyes away from their protected research. Okay, all I, my only question then is, are we going to get a portion up front so oh, we know this ab- is legit? Oh, absolutely. You stole the words right out. Mm. Tasty. Yuck. Gross. I'm willing to give you 2,000 credits here and now. A piece? Fuck it. Mm. How, oh. much, how much cred do we owe... The edge lords right now. I don't think it matters after this point, Glenn. We're kind of... I haven't been in this kind of business in 50 years. What do you but mean? But it sure feels like home. Well, Sin, you know I'm in. And I, I predator her handshake him. Beautiful, beautiful bastard. I knew you would be. There's only one person we have to deal with right now. And I peer over to Doc. Yes? He has loyalties. I, th- I think that's mainly to creds, Glenn. I don't think this is an issue now. Right? Doc, please? We- no more traitor stuff? I shift eyes between them. Uh, that's a question you should ask the mirror. I wasn't being a traitor to myself. You were being a traitor to the people that give you... I'm not going to have this conversation were... again in front of this gentleman here. <laughs> yeah, you were You were like quite I said, the traitor to me. Drama. What? Yes. How do you know? He's part of the resistance. <sighs> I'm part of Sorry, everything. Sorry, I've been knitting this whole time. What do you say, Doc? <sighs> Severance package, like stock three? options, come out on top, 2,000 credits up front. That hefty pension. Oh, wait, no, that's retirement. Yeah, that's the thing that you get when you yes, stick it is. with the job, not run away from the job, Glenn. Yes, it is, Glenn. And he pats you on the head. Like, listen, Sinjin, I'm not interested in, in any kind of timeshare, okay? Not interested in a 401k. <laughs> All I'm saying is that I can give you the kind of money that will help you put yourself wherever you want to be. Well, I'm in. I, I can't work for these guys anymore. I, it's too strict for me. You do have a history. Uh, yeah. Seems that all of you do. Yeah. Well, look, I've been to prison for a long time, and this is the fast track to getting there again. Well, if we're just extra careful. You can always assume that you could be, but you often won't be. Don't worry, Doc. I'll take care of you. And I put my hand on his shoulder. It's not reassuring in any way. Mm. Well, I'll allow you all to take your time. Let me know what you decide, and... Where do I sign? No need... I know how to find you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn around and walk away and call up uh, 
the edge lords and tell them I quit. Well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I just I can't do it anymore. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Roll a DC thirteen diplomacy check. Are you bad at diplomacy? I think you're good at. Oh. Do I have luck points? That's a twelve. Not this game. No. Man. No, sir. You didn't get your severance package. Nope. No, uh, you you do still get a severance package. It's just the severity of the amount that you get that changes. You get one build point and 250 creds Ooh. for your severance package. And a cube on 50% off Edge Corp. <laughs> <laughs> it expires in a week. It's already um, expired. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, while, while Glenn's off doing this, almost conveniently, you guys get notifications on your... Um, Shit. On your comms. I wasn't actually going to tell them. I was hoping to let them find out. And it's all its all three of you at the same time. They sent this shit all in bulk. <laughs> Dear employees, company transport BD514 has failed to meet expected profit goals. Edgecorp is conducting an internal review to determine the viability of this revenue stream going forward. The results of which may end in your contract termination. In the event of contract termination, the transport BD514 will be reassigned effective immediately. Thank you for your time. Oh, I'm glad I quit before that. I'm going to look at my wrist and then just, like, shut it off. <laughs> like, oh, fuck this. Same as you give me the two grand. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Doc, does this mean they're taking our ship? Yeah, fuck. it does. What do we do now? Sinjin. We, man, we need a ship. Hold, hold on. I'm calling Tar quick. What the fuck is this? Hey, hey I, I filed everything as best I could. All right? But? It got us canned. But? I didn't do the fucking job. But? Okay. But you guys get your severance packages. Well, that's nice. <laughs> I only got one build point. Look, you got that. You're not very good at communicating what you need, are you? I guess not. Okay, you know what? I'm quitting too. Oh, nice. I'll be a part of this with you guys if you want. Part of what? They sent me the email too. Oh. When you say, like, the thing, what are you talking about? The comms on still. Oh, oh, Tar, geez. you heard everything? This terrible echo. I thought... Glenn, uh, step I'm away sorry. from me. Your mics are crossed. Sorry. The feedback. I... The feedback. Thank you. There's so much feedback. Oh. Sorry. I just got a little bit excited there. I was just hoping that we could Jack, be a you know, space team. I've uh, literally never seen you in person, Tar. How is my comm so wet? Well, you still need somebody at dispatch, don't you? Tar, we're not going to just... I might just go work at a burger place. Oh, my Atlanta. Tar, I promise you can still be a part of the team. Now, did you get Doc's severance package in mine? At least? Yes. Roll for diplomacy. <laughs> 24. <laughs> 24? Yeah. Holy shit. Hell yeah, 12. dude. 12? Mm-hmm. How good is your diplomacy? Seven. I got Jesus. a plus nine. Uh, three gets the same as... Uh... Fuck. I have a one. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Three gets the same amount as um, Glenn did. But, Doc, you managed to pull out three build points and 750 credits. I got triple what you can. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> oh, man. Don't mind if I do, I guess. All right, let's go fucking steal a spaceship, huh? Huh, boys? Doc, Yen? Yeah, sure. Glenn, you driving? We got to right. get out of here In now Glenn, before they take into it. Into this station. Glenn, warm up the engines. We got to get the hell out of here before they find us. Okay, yeah. You guys head to the Absalom station proper, and... Uh, you guys head back to uh, the same docking port that you're usually at at Absalom Station. Before you guys uh, pulling out your uh, personal possessions and all of those types of things, while you're doing that, the computer on board is... Sirs, if you will, I wouldn't mind going with you. Deactivate. <laughs> <laughs> God, I, it's a voice on a ship. We don't need it. Every yeah, ship has one. You know, it's great. I, I, I don't have the, to do that anymore. I click the eject button and I grab the floppy disk. The cassette the tape. <laughs> the I grab the Chris's floppy. head almost exploded like, when he tried to figure it, out. The fuck? <laughs> I grab the floppy disk. They don't even have like, physical media. Like. <laughs> it's a very old ship. All right, you guys are back at Absalom Station. You got uh, fresh creds burning in your pockets. Mm. And a destination. Now, Ooh. you all know, just just for the sake of uh, simplicity here, you guys do know this, this is common knowledge, that to get to the plate, if you don't have transportation, like you guys are in now, there are shuttles that take people there. Uh, it's through drift space, and it's pretty much the same situation, except for it's space bus. Just take a tuber? Yeah, <laughs> yes, a tuber. Nice. Why, why don't we just fly the ship? It's not ours anymore, Glenn. But we're going to Edgelord property. And we're going to steal another ship no. anyways. 
Yeah, so we don't need one. We don't need to haul we'll back just, two cars. No, we'll leave this one there. Leave the junker in place of the elephant. It would be funny, Doc. Trust that's, me. That's sort of like leaving your uh, your car at the scene of the crime, though. That seems like a bad idea. Uh, would you park? Okay, would you park your car uh, in front of the guy? Whose I house, just but we found the guy's house that you're going to shoot. I know, but I but assume, we can just explode it. I assume they're gonna find out who we are, anyways. But maybe you're right. Uh, we won't I, chance it. I just don't think it's a good idea to leave the color. I car. thought it'd be I'm gonna, hilarious, though. I'm funny, gonna, I'm, yes, but not to be involved in. Okay, I'm gonna That's, pull up my com and call Sinjin quick. Yes, Glenn. Uh, where where do we acquire a new ship here? Um, you buy us one. Or we just take a tuber. I, I, I know you're pretty loaded now, uh, McGruber. <laughs> um, I'm sending you to pick up a ship. Oh, oh, we're not That's taking the Uber? No, you are. Oh, Glenn. Do, do they have scooters here? Glenn. No, they have. <laughs> He's just flying. He's just driving a scooter through space. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that's going to be the next title card. Three's going to yeah. hail a tuber on his comms. and okay. Glenn, you get the tuber, I'll get the scuba. Look, okay. you <laughs> <laughs> Glenn, you can, take, you can take Sorry. a passenger liner to Avalon for pennies on the dollar that I gave you. Okay? You Figure that. it the fuck out. Uh, he hung yeah. up. The first anyway. thing I got right without knowing. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Been told a thousand names you can't remember. Yep. The one you know, <laughs> yeah. one you remember. <laughs> I don't know how I did it. So, so our, I. Our, what, what, what kind of tuber pulls up? What kind of spinning rims on this gold jet ski? Yeah, no, this is uh, th oh, this is oh. not that. What that is, what this is, is walking up to a space bus depot, oh, and you pay for a fucking ticket, and you get on it, and you go to the place. Now, if you want to find some other weird mode of transportation, buy no, all this, fucking beans. This works. Excuse me, bus driver. How much for two adults and a kid? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I have carry on. One of them is not an adult. I have the robot. <laughs> Holy I was just going to say, I, I, I don't know which one is which here. The baby but, here. And uh, point at the big guy. <laughs> oh, I apologize. This goes. My, my shoulders are really broad in the doorway. Child price. He's, he's, he's 11. Goo goo ga ga. See? 11. Oh. <laughs> Can I have the senior discount? And I flash my identification. Good thinking. Well, Good you thinking. know about this guy, right? God, some, Glenn, you've I'll seen like, the flicks. Fuck. You guys all give me some diplomacies. I oh, want to. I want. I want to see some rolls for this. Mm. Uh, nineteen plus nine, twenty-eight. <laughs> Holy fuck! Oh my god! <laughs> all of that shit. <laughs> That's pretty good. I got twenty-two. I oh have my seven. god! <laughs> oh my god! This is the Goo Goo Gaga as an eleven-year-old kind of just like proves that. <laughs> goo Goo Gaga. Um, okay, now roll me. Roll me a uh, d six. Two. Two days. Okay. This hey, is supposed that's to be, the lowest we've ever rolled. This is supposed to be, yeah. This is, on a bus! Um, oh, yeah. Well, uh, it's supposed to be 50 creds a day, but if you're bringing a large baby and whatever Wait. that suitcase man is, uh, I'll just charge you for 100 creds and that sounds good. off with it. Transfer quick and then pop up on. All right. I'll tip him 35 creds because I've never been called a suitcase before. <laughs> <laughs> that's a tip? That's tip worthy? <laughs> I give him a high five. Oh, damn, I only have 894 creds now. <laughs> oh, boo. <laughs> I have 3,000 fucking... You should have 2,000 from Sin Jin. Mm, I forgot about that. Yep. I mean, 2,894. <laughs> damn. Oh, only. damn. Oh, I, I only marked 200. Whoopsie. 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 And this might be a little bit early for a break, but... Pina colada time! Woo! Yeah, you guys are gonna... You guys are gonna level up here, so... We'll come back after you guys are leveled up. Woo! <laughs> All right, coming back in here, you guys are uh, freshly leveled up. Ooh, it feels nice. And you guys exit drift space. You guys see Abalon, a small gray planetoid covered in enormous high-tech metroplexes separated by mountain ranges and the occasional crater. It takes a few hours to reach the horse-eye orbital plate, a mile-long floating factory with a flat upper surface covered in solar collection panels forever angled toward the sun. 
Starships in various states of construction, most of them barely visible among the scaffolding, robot cranes, and swarms of workers hanging like bats from the shadowed bottom of the facility. Among these vessels is a colossal bulk cruiser, plated in gold, one of the legendary commerce barges manufactured by followers of the prophecy of Calistrad. You guys finally dock on this passenger liner. An anasite worker briefly inspects each of your identifications against a database of authorized visitors. As he's checking out your credentials, he tells you, and you've heard this like in line waiting for, or like to disembark from this. Shareholders, shareholders are authorized to travel freely in the horse eye orbital plate, but some corporation restrict areas. You must secure separate authorization for each entry of these regions. The horse eye orbital plate is not responsible for injury or inconvenience resulting from failure to obtain this authorization. Do you understand? Could you repeat the question? No, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> Does not compute. Very well. And he lets you guys through. Nice that that easy, I guess. So um, clicking, I am not a robot. Oh, the captcha. <laughs> it's all right. I passed the captcha. <laughs> He struggled. How? He struggled. You uh, lied to pass the cash. <laughs> what did we tell you about this three? It was process of Glenn elimination. He's like, well, these pictures does not have a car. This is definitely <laughs> not a light. Uh, these all have a bridge in them. <laughs> <laughs> Click them um, you guys realize as you're getting off here, really, the best information that you've had so far is that this place is where the Oliphant is. You don't know exactly where, which of these buildings it is. Is there a directory? I was just going to ask. There is absolutely a directory. Oh. First of all, give me uh, give me a DC 13 diplomacy check. 17 plus 10, 27. Very good. Holy 13. shit. 13. Hey, you made it. Hey. Good deal. Looks like you made it. <laughs> oh, crap. Now we got to get rights for that. Oh, That's no. Terrible. Damn it. Um, you, guys, you guys both in separate ways. I assume that you go to the Infosphere dock because that seems the most dock thing to do compared to Glenn who would just stand out and... Start talking to random people. Finger in the belly button. Yeah. <laughs> you guys find out over the course of a little while that there are five potential places that the Oliphant could be located. This, this, is, um, this is something that Doc finds out while he's looking into the infosphere. Yeah. Do I find anything, uh, any details about these five locations? You find out that these are the only five locations that are company controlled and have remote access or restricted access rather. The difference is now between you guys, you find out that it is not uncommon because there are two separate types of people that visit the horse eye orbital. There are shareholders and potential investors. And this is where everything is built. Now, you guys being fresh shareholders know that you, you guys have the opportunity to tour these facilities if you wished. You don't really have a specific time frame for how long it takes you to get the Oliphant, but it would probably take you a little while to go through these tours, obviously without the restricted access portions of places like this, but it also does offer you a very convenient alibi for why you are there or why you would ever be on camera there. Right, right, we're shareholders. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Potential investors, I might want to invest my 2,000 cred. You're already a shareholder, you don't have to be in the other group too. But I might want more shares. If you choose to take this route, you're more than welcome to. No. No? No. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just continue well, on. Well, you could, okay. I'll, I'll give you this then. Doc looking into the infosphere the way that he was does notice that there is definitely potential for hacking information out of the system if he wanted to do that. Let me do that. Okay. Uh, 21. Nope. 19. 19? 19. That's a pretty good roll. No. Yeah. 8 plus 11. <laughs> okay. It was an 18. Uh, oh, the, the DC? The DC was oh. an, an 18. Beautiful. Just took me a second to calculate all this stuff. You find out exactly where you need to go. That's pretty easy. <laughs> yeah, yes. No, no, it is. Uh, you, you find tidbits of information while you're doing this mm -hmm. that correlate to key phrases that only you guys would actually pick up on. Okay. Things that have to do with... Um, because the Project Oliphant is not something that is common knowledge, right. firstly. Null space technology is is definitely common knowledge, but it's not something that people, as, as of common knowledge, are working on extensively. And these are small pieces of information that you find while you're going through this data. Now, <laughs> if you still wanted to take a tour of this facility, you're more than welcome to do so. I'm going to pretend that I'm going on one of these tours, 
and uh, try to break off as soon as I get a chance because I want to take a look around some of these buildings before we leave. We're stealing a ship already. Let's steal some other stuff if we can. Information, whatever we can sell, smuggle. That's well, if you're breaking them up, yeah, if you're breaking so off. Three. I'm heading to the fucking old farm because I know where it is. All right, Doc, don't take off without me. I just want to just gonna check some stuff out real quick. No promises. Oh, fuck. He's going to die alone, Doc. It'll be two seconds. One way or another. <laughs> I promise. Okay, so I, don't are, kill me. Are, are you just going on this tour? Apparently, I'm just going. I'm going to go into one of these other buildings that is definitely not the ship because I, I just want to check them out. It, I want to go and do this real quick. They have a kiosk right here. Yeah, and I'll, I'll get you a nice little plush, Glenn. And, and, you're right looking, and you're looking to sneak into one of these facilities? I'm going to sneak in and just look around and see if I can't uh, get a devious lick. As the kids would say. Oh, God. Uh, Yuck. What kids say that? It's, it's a TikTok it, thing. Uh, is it? Yeah. Oh, is it really? Yeah, it's super illegal, too. What? It's stupid as shit. Kids just stealing random shit like fire alarms and fucking weird things from school, and now it's like they're stealing soap dispensers, and huh? it's just the, the new generation being... Shit heels. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> fucking shit heels. Yeah. Fucking shit heels. <laughs> I hate shit heels. God damn he Shit on my heel. Well, that's what happens when you don't raise your kids. That's true. For everybody out there listening, raise your fucking kids. <laughs> <laughs> Brought to you by the world standard. Yeah, this has been a public service. <laughs> <laughs> Be a better parent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, what, what am I, what's three doing? Is he getting arrested? Uh, <laughs> go yeah. ahead and try some stealth, friend. I'm bad at that. That's yeah, what that, I was hoping this is someone your else would idea, come with. I know. All You'd right. still have You'd... to roll it. Yeah, how, how would me being with you make you harder to see? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to hide behind you. I assume you're bigger than me. I'm not. Uh, I'm pretty skinny. 17. 17 straight up that's stealthy okay yeah i you have can, no bonuses yeah you can make it into this facility Ooh. okay yep all right i'm in i'm gonna what what does it look like how this, big is this thing this is, is like a you're just like a guy walking around this stealth isn't you just like fucking pink panthering around a place it's more of like how confidently you can make yourself unnoticeable here I walk into the closest maintenance room and grab a janitorial outfit and throw that on. Sure. There you go. <laughs> He's a maintenance droid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you got it. Yay. Watch out. I might <laughs> jerk you off. Wait, what? Not the right kind of maintenance. You're watching the wrong parodies, man. <laughs> That's not Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> That's Star Wars. Beep, boop, um, up, up. That's one of your flicks, right? What, what is it that you're <laughs> looking for? I'm looking for anything else I can take before Doc decides to leave the trader here. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Anything you can take from another facility? Well, I mean, you, you find I wanna, a beer cozy. Is there uh, okay? Is there cozy. another like uh, aftermarket goblin scooter I can fucking? All right, <laughs> I follow the yellow paint line that leads me to the main office. <laughs> okay, that door is locked, and you'll have to use computers to open it. Fucking. What about engineering? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Does the engineering? DC20. Does it? Well, no. I mean, honestly, does that work? Yes. Mechanics. Yes. Wise? Yes. Mechanics wise, actually, it is engineering. Either or. Depending on how you approach it. Oh, shit. That's not it. That's 11. That's an 11? Yeah. Yeah, that's um, definitely not going to work. Well, You're I, not going to uh, be able to get into this door. Rattle the, the door handle? Wait, we're space boys. No, um, uh, <laughs> no, no door handle. No door handle. <laughs> well, you, hear, you hear from behind you. Um, sir? Huh? Yeah? Is, is there something you need here? Uh, I'm supposed to be mopping this office. Huge, huge chemical spill. Actually came through the vents. You should be wearing a mask. Uh, I don't think so. I literally just watched Dr. Akari come out of there. Oh, well, he's the one that sent me in there. I j There's yep. not even a way that you could have... Oh, uh, Android. He uh, um, sent me an email. Yeah, give me, yep. uh, give me some um, uh, bluffs. Oh, oh, it's a natural one. <laughs> You're going to die. Um, Sir, I'm going to need you to come with me. Okay. <laughs> so complacent. It's okay. All right. And he takes I, you to a security office. What are you guys doing? Um, we are going boy. to the um, where where I know that the Olafont is. The, the yes, like to that hangar or whatever. That facility. Yeah. Uh, um, should should we message him? Let let him know where we're going. He knows where we're going. I told him. Oh, okay. He'll meet us there. Hopefully. Hopefully. It's not like he critically failed on a roll. <laughs> yeah, that's not a thing. Yep. Yeah. No. Exactly. No, that's he might have. Okay. <laughs> You choose this this day specifically because you uh, over the time that you've been here and um, have been doing this research, it's not like the twenty minutes we've been doing this. Yeah, yeah. It's been like maybe two days. Oh, okay. Or something like that. 
<laughs> and this is all stuff that's happening. Under. Yeah, well, it's research. It's research on a job. Is it like barracks and shit? Uh, yeah, you actually like, the, like a hotel kind of thing. Yes, on the mid level, that's where mm. that's where all the investors and all of the uh, it's it's actually a pretty nice part of the part of the uh, horse eye orbital. You all have um, computers in those rooms and everything on on top of your personal comms. I just, those are usually what you're going to be using to be looking into this stuff outside of you looking into the orbitals, the infosphere. But what you do find when you're looking into that information is on this day when you're going to make your way over to the facility, you found an email from the executive vice president, Eline. It's, it's a casual conversation, or not a casual conversation, but a, a memo that was sent out to everybody. Does he have a last name? Uh, Risora. Oh, I was hoping it was Mux. <laughs> Eli, Eli Mux. Mux. <laughs> nice. No, it's you you Eli, can change it. Uh, yeah, sure, you know what? Yeah, it's Eli Mux. Knew uh, it. Uh, this is a woman. Didn't know that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's an email sent out directly from her to everybody who works for the company, or not for the company, but at that facility, that they get to take a few days off due to the um, immense work that they have put in and the overwhelmingly positive result from it. Mm. Um, you get the idea that the vagueness of these words is probably very specifically to keep people from understanding what they've been doing here, but... You do understand that this place is going to be vastly understaffed when you walk in. Nobody is actually working. It's just like a skeleton crew. A skeleton crew of people taking care of the place. All right. And you guys walk in the door. Three. <laughs> Hello. This guy, this guy takes you to security, pretty much. And they start to question you about what the fuck you are even doing here. Uh, hello, Mr. Um, it's, uh, it's, Volcor 316. Yeah, uh, great. I think this is a pretty obvious question now, but what the fuck are you doing here? Uh, honestly, a little bit of a software issue during Drift Space. Um, sorry about that. I didn't have a clear head. Yeah, um, it does seem very uh, peculiar that a uh, <clears throat> someone as well-known as you are like I would said, be software. here presenting themselves as a janitor? Well, uh, always, always wanted to. Uh, I didn't see realize how the blue that in your line worked. centuries of life, you had ever done any custodial work. Nope, that's uh, sorry. Capture got me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Funny. Especially with how serious you said it. <laughs> Give me like that, it. Tim. I'm gonna, I'm gonna page three. Like at this moment, because we and him Glenn are waiting for yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. Hey, oh, oh, hey uh, hold on. I'm I'm getting a phone call, and I'll. Tap my intercom or whatever. Three, how's it going? Yeah, I'm, uh, I got, I, I, they found me. Who? Uh, security. Oh, shit. Did you give yeah. me a real name? Uh, I might have. You did. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The, this guy's just going to listen to this? Where are you at the security office? Uh, yeah. I found an interesting office and thought maybe I could. Is he listening to you say this? Mm, no. You're in my head. I, oh, oh, oh. Oh, that was smart! Shit. Fuck, damn! Oh, that, that, that was very, cool. that, very nice. Damn, Robots you totally cool. can do All that. Right. What did you? What does he think? That what did you? What did you? What did you tell him you were doing? Uh, I just told him that the capture was real tough, and I had some software issues when we landed. So, what did he find you doing? I'm pretty sure he thinks I have uh, dementia now. I got, hopefully, I got an idea. I'll come find you. Yeah, me glad okay. coming. Bye. Uh, yeah, you were saying. Sorry, grandmother. Um, actually, I think you were saying, uh, I, I, <sighs> robots have grandmas. <laughs> 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 that kills me for some reason. <laughs> Follow me, run. Oh, okay, uh, uh speed walk. <laughs> I'm gonna need another bluff check from all the stuff that you were saying. damn it, fucking Christ. Well, you say words, words happen. It's 12. 12? Yeah, that doesn't make it. I, I usually, I'm trying, I'm... Always trying to remember to tell you, but I got to make these up at the, uh, on the yeah, spot. Yeah. That, that one was going to be a 15. Yeah, it's okay. I uh, put all of it into diplomacy. Actually, go on, go ahead, because mm -hmm. I, I think I know what I'm going to do okay. next year. Yeah, no, uh, I appreciate you. Um... Look, the people in my head uh, say they're going to be here in about maybe five minutes. So if you don't want to die in this room and be hidden in that closet, uh, we can just... I can walk out of here. I'll even leave an autograph for you, and you can say you picked it up back on Epsilon, all right? Mom's the word. I'll just walk on out of here. Jesus Christ. Otherwise, 
I got a few friends that are on their way, and they're more real than the story I told you. <laughs> That's a really good line. <laughs> uh, intimidation. Yep. Oh, man. That's a fucking oh, natural 20. Yeah, 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 yeah. Plus 10, that's a 30. You fucking You monster. wizard, Harry. Oh, you're a hairy wizard. And oh, not only God. not only that, not only that, but I know that you have a feat that keeps people from being uh, aggressive towards oh, you yeah, when you right. intimidate them. <laughs> that's right. This guy looks fucking horrified. Now, if you can give me the key to the office I was originally standing at, we're even Stevens, right? Right? And he winks at him and gives him a little finger pistol. I, 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 I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I don't have that kind of access. I, I, I just, I patrol the fucking halls, man. I'm a hall monitor, okay? Yeah, glorified one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Please, just take your shit. Take your stuff. How many creds you got on you? I, I don't, you think I keep my creds on? I'll transfer. I'll, tra uh, to, uh, tra I'll, 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 I'll transfer. Uh, what, 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 what do you need? What do you, uh, uh, I'm just kidding, man. <laughs> Honestly. What, what do you, wow, wow. Uh, is there anything else? If if you can't get me in there, then I'm just going to leave. But uh, if you do call anyone, I will make it my last ditch effort to come back here and stab you. I, 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 the guys didn't get here yet. They, I'm going to. Okay. And uh, three walks up, takes out his laser pen and autographs his, his uh, chest plate or whatever the fuck he's wearing. Is he, is he wearing? Yes, <laughs> yes, okay. he is, yes. <laughs> and then ah. he turns around and he, I'm going to walk out the door. He... He uh, follows. He follows you out the door. He's like, um, "You have a wonderful day." Oh, thank you. And he uh, just stiffly walks back down the hall that he came from. Do I meet up with the other two? Yeah, they they come busting into the door in like the main uh, main hallway. Yeah, they come busting. <laughs> they come busting into the main door just about the time that you're passing up by the secretary's desk as well. Three. Is the guy still alive? Oh, yeah, he's still alive. All right, uh, let's go back. Yep, I'm sorry. Got a little sidetracked. <laughs> we're, going I, to, we're going to the security office. I thought for sure that... Wait, where are we going? Security office. The to, place to the same guy that was just, you were just talking to, yeah. Oh. That's where I'm going. Okay. That's what oh. I said. We're going back. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, he is, he's, not far, he's not far away from you guys right. at all. He's not even there yet. He's, he's just in the hall. I didn't even okay. get this man's name. I'm just here uh, for the ride. Sir. Uh, yeah, yes? In your office. And he shakily walks his way into the office. Yeah, I'm going to... Uh, go in there. Three, with me. Glenn, watch the door. I stand in front of the door. Doc, look, I already fucked this up. What are you doing? I'm gonna pull my gun. My, my... Whoa, whoa! Don't kill him, Doc! Shh. I'm gonna hold the gun to him. And <laughs> get on your knees! He get... <laughs> <laughs> Three, did you shake him for credits already? Oh, God, he doesn't have anything. Yeah, right. He... Poof! Oh, my oh, God! My oh, my God! God. <laughs> Holy you fuck! You graved your name on his armor? Ah. Why did you give the- Oh, you idiot. Oh my god, we could have just took the armor. We're doing that too. Well, we yeah, have to obviously now. we gotta hide the body. Glenn, help me stuff this down the trash compactor. I'm outside the door, I didn't see any of this. Oh shit. Put him in his chair. Oh. Lay his head on the table. Oh god, this Put is- Okay, I'm gonna- Does he have a gun on him? Oh my yes. god. Okay, I'm gonna no, take you're his not. gun out of his- out of his holster. Oh. And put it in his hand. It's done three. Let's go. Hold on. I'm going to look for cameras. Are there any cameras in the room? This is the security office. There... Yep. Yep. Is there cameras in the room? Yeah. I'm going to go over to the computer. If it, yeah, whatever yeah, computer's yeah, in there. Yeah. And I'm going to try to sh erase the last fucking 20 minutes. All right. Computers. Are you good in computers? Can I do engineering? No. No, this, no, this, this would be computers. computers. All right. I'll fucking give it a shot. Nope. <laughs> oh, nope. There's no way. Okay. Uh, that was not the else? time to check your MySpace. <laughs> sorry, sorry. And I'm just fucking changing my, my theme music for the background. <laughs> Anybody else that want to fuck around with the yeah, computer? You know what? Since I'll, I'll, I'll deal with this. I'm going to just go for it. Go crazy on the computer. Uh, 18 plus 11, 29. <laughs> you absolutely, <laughs> oh you absolutely get rid of this. Um, you even you even managed to do the that wild shit that uh, Jim Carrey managed to do in Batman Forever, where uh, he made it look like the the company dude committed suicide. Perfect. Yeah, you you even managed to do that shit because that's a wildly huge role. <laughs> okay, they're not going to be on us now. Let's go. No, but my fucking conscience will. Yeah, that shouldn't be a. That's actually surprising, to be honest, considering. <laughs> Glenn's just yo-yoing outside the door. He has no idea. Just, just patiently waiting. And Glenn, you guys... Glenn, as we come out, you were a good boy. Oh. <laughs> I, I was oh, a God. good boy. 
Me? Me so good, boy? I'm just going to give him something that I've been holding for him for a while. It's a brand new yo-yo. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh, no. It's beautiful. So, so pretty. So <laughs> oh, pretty God. yo-yo. Okay. So no, now, when we're on the Oliphant, you can play with it, but don't open it until then. I'm just going to put it in my chest here. We Both. Let's go. To Both. get out of here. Indeed, let's go. Both Glenn and Three have tears in their eyes, and Glenn thinks it's all because of the yo-yo. Oh, no. You see I'm this? just shook. Yeah. I'm just shook. <laughs> That's just my head cannon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a, that's a beautiful yo-yo. <laughs> it's a good thing we didn't take anything rule, off his body. The rule of cruel. We took a sh uh, <laughs> we took what? Took a like that's all we took. Yeah, well, you, you good. Put well, I meant money. Name, I, I don't want it to look like a burglary, you know. All right, you guys head out of this place. Fucking quick, fast, and in a hurry. Hey, I, except I, for I put the caution wet floor sign in front of the security <laughs> office door. <laughs> Perfect. I was hoping to find maybe an item, a treasure chest, or some hidden lore. But no, instead we murdered a man. This is your fault. I know it's my fault. I didn't fault. have to kill him if you didn't make me. <laughs> I just had to walk away faster. But no, you wanted to go back. <laughs> he knew who you were. You wrote your name on him. Yeah, he could have got that at the last convention. But he didn't. Convention. And he knows that. Eventually the fear is going to wear off and he's going to say something. Well, now he won't. I don't know. It was but a natural have. 20 with a th with the plus 10. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah, no, I understand. Uh, but we had no idea. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, you we guys didn't. didn't. No, not at, no. <laughs> not at all. We weren't there for that role. <laughs> okay. Oh, Three is going to follow this. the two just in quiet contemplation about what just happened. I moved to happily, like, just like... <laughs> <laughs> not happily, actually. That's kind of creepy. And no, uh, just like very stoically, just like... Getting it done. Ready. Yeah, we ready. to get this done. And uh, you guys head into the front door of the Project Oliphant facility. Now, I ain't touching nothing. <laughs> I'll shoot I it if you do. I ain't talking <laughs> to no one. <laughs> Hold on, I have to get rid of my bullets. Doc, I'm still, I'm still in my... did a murder today. I'm still in my janitorial outfit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sure there's just a spray of blood across the front of it or something. Um, probably. What, what, what race was this guy? Uh, he was a Kasatha. Wow. <laughs> Kill the fellow man. I, 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 I You're cold and calculated. Wasn't the doc. first time, won't be the last. <laughs> I, be the first hundred or the last hundred. I'm gonna be honest. I just picked a race at random. I didn't think about who you were, or what you were, but Wait, so that was malicious. So he had four arms. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck. All of them behind his back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You walk into this room, and it's the reception area of of this place, and. It's an oddly shaped room with a two-story ceiling and two doors leading out of the chamber from behind the podium where a currently pretty shocked and um, confused-looking android security guard kind of just hangs out at his... Nope. <laughs> Goodbye and good night. <laughs> Bang! <laughs> like, please, please, please. Don't suck bullets. <laughs> He's like... Whoa, 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 hey, man, come on, hey, hey, j j j okay, just don't shoot glue. Oh. <laughs> Damn. It's not glue, boy. A live band, god damn, these long fuckers always get me. I've been reading this over and over again too. A live, bl a live band playing, <laughs> you bastard. Blue blueberry jam, pizza slice. So, shut cream. up, you fucker. Sushimi. <laughs> god damn it. This is never gonna get anywhere. This is what listening to ebooks will get you, or, or, or audiobooks. <laughs> Fuck, you gotta read and you fucking can't. <laughs> <laughs> you have an old man reading for you. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get my fucking cheaters out. <laughs> Oh, man.